Hello students, now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19. For more video solution on gate 19, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification. Hello students, myself Krishna Khan. In this video, we are going to solve a question from the subject communication. This question belongs to the topic random process. So first of all, uh, let us start by reading the question. A random process is given by y of t equal to h of t convolved with x of t plus z of t. Where x of t is a white noise with constant power spectral density as x of f equal to 5 watts per h. And h of t is a filter which is having a transform modulus h of f equal to 0 0.5 for minus 5 less than f less than 5. And z of t is a stationary process which is uncorrelated with x of t and having power spectral density as shown in the figure. So z of t is having a power spectral density which is triangular from minus 5 to 5 and an amplitude of 1. So what is asking? Then the power of process y of t is dash watts rounded off to two decimal places. So if you read this question, first what you need? You need output power and what he has given? He has given the power spectral densities. And how we will find the power? If we take area under a power spectral density, we will get the power. That is the basic idea. So this is the expression which he has given for y of t. And if you are able to find its power spectral density, and area under power spectral density will give you what? Power. So in order to get this, it is depending on what values? h of t, x of t and z of t. So regarding h of t, he has told it is a filter and it is having transform of 0 0.5 for minus 5. So this is important data. Then regarding x of t, he has given the power spectral density is constant and its value is 5 for entire range of frequencies, right? And regarding z of t, he has given this power spectral density. Okay, this is the required information. And now uh, we we'll write this information. So this is the information which we need from the question. And if you see this, how we will get the power spectral density of y? The power spectral density of y is nothing but s y of f, which is nothing but what? Modulus of y of f whole square. We know square of transform is nothing but what? Is the power spectral density. And he has given y of t, how you will get y of f? Applying the Fourier transform. So if you apply Fourier transform for this, convolution in time domain becomes what? Multiplication in the frequency domain. H of f into x of f. Plus for z of t, you will be getting z of f. Now what you need to do? You need to square this. This is in the form of what? a plus b whole square, which is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab. And what he has given? He has given that in the question, z of t is uncorrelated with x of t. Uncorrelated means what? Those two spectrums are apart from each other. There is no common frequencies. Then the product of their transforms will be what? Zero. So now if you are able to find this value, area under this value, we will get the power. So first one is what? Mod h of f whole square. He has given h of f value and the range of h of f. You can find this. And for this what he has given? Mod x of f whole square is nothing but what? Square of transfer function is nothing but Square of transform is nothing but power spectral density, which is nothing but S x of f. The square of transform is nothing but the power spectral density, that is S z of f. So what we need? Output power y p of t is nothing but area under the power spectral density, e of f df. So it is having two parts. The first part is from mod h of f whole square into x x of f df plus other part is area under s z of f df. So this is what? This is 1 by 2 from minus 5 to 5 and this is 5 for the entire range constant. 
So what you will get constant with fixed value? You will be getting fixed value which is from minus 5 to 5, 1 by 2 whole square into 5 df plus area under this transform. Area under triangle is what? Half into what is its base? 10 and what is its height? 1. So this one you will be getting 5 by 4 into 10. So 50 by 4 plus 20 by 4, sorry 10 by 4, that is what? 60 by 4. 5 by 4 into 10, that is 50 by 4. 50 by 4 into, this is 10 by 2, right? That is 20 by 4. That is 70 by 4. So if you solve this, you will be getting 17.5 watts. So 17.5 watts is the correct answer. Let me check once. So 70 by 4 which is nothing but 17.5. So 17.5 is the right answer. So it is just application of what? Application of random processed power spectral density. And the basic idea is same right? Output power is nothing but what? Area under the power spectral density. And this idea is very important whenever two Random process are uncorrelated. So in 2014 also we got the question. When two, uh, two transforms are uncorrelated, their frequencies must be what? Far apart. There must be no common frequency. When there is no common frequencies, if you product them, what will happen? The product will be zero. Like this, we can eliminate this one. The answer for this is 17.5 watts. So thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thank you.